So that's pretty much what what helped me in the long run, and just them keeping their faith in me. After lighting up the stat sheet in his final season at Wyoming, Granderson found himself in legal trouble. In 2019, he was charged with sexual battery and unlawful contact. Definitely like a tough situation, you know, the whole process. Granderson was sentenced to six months in jail after pleading no contest. He watched his draft stock plummet and he eventually went undrafted. But the Saints wanted to take a gamble and felt the risk was worth the reward. I always wanted to prove, you know, and say, like, thank you for the organization and play, play my heart out and give it my all. The organization got their legal team involved. Ultimately, his jail time was suspended, and instead, Granderson would have to serve a year of supervised probation. I moved on from the situation, you know. I put that in the past and uh, moved forward, and um, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, for the Saints, you know, and the whole organization for believing in me and getting to know me as a person. So with the NFL's permission, the Saints added Granderson to their roster, giving the defensive end an opportunity to prove himself. When I first got out there, it, it felt like a dream because, like, this what you dream of from when you was like a child. Um, and I have a picture up in the fifth or the sixth grade where I said, um, I have a dream that I would stay in sports and stay in school. And I still have that picture on my phone. The Grant High grad definitely seized the moment and even went viral after the biggest play of his rookie season. I always start in my head, like whenever I get a sack, I'm gonna I'm do the worm. So when I got my sack, it was just in the moment. I tried to do the worm, but I did it backwards. And then Cam Jordan came up to me like, bro, don't do that again, bro. That's not it, bro. I'm like, ooh, I can't do it no more. Next time, I'm going to just start practicing and just, you know, work on it more. So next time I do it, I do it the correct way. Sarah Hodges reporting tonight.